coming up this morning, as always, of course, it's Sunday, getting ready for football. Jeff and, Re Jeff and Russ from FantasyFootballStarters.com are here to share tips on some sleepers you may want to keep an eye on. Dr. Art Mullen will be sharing his medical tips and the answers to your questions. And we'll also tell you about a special fundraiser aimed at protecting your kids from cyberbullying and also keeping their self-esteem high from a group called Mask. Still ahead when we come back from the break, cyberbullying, face-to-face -face bullying, kids face a number of threats, that's for sure. And it's important for parents to stay aware. So we're going to meet a couple of women who are behind a group with the mission of keeping parents involved in their kids' safety. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone. You know, these days there are so many challenges kids have to face these days when it comes to their safety and, of course, their self-esteem. But there are groups out there looking to help parents so that they can help their kids. And joining us now from an organization called MASK, or Mother's Awareness on School-Age Kids, we have Michelle Cardini, Pam Bauman, and also Kimberly Cabral. And Kimberly, I know you're in the middle, so we've done, you switched Kimberly your names. Michelle. Kimberly, Michelle, Pam. I apologize. You guys didn't sit the right way you were supposed to. <laughs> this is something, a serious topic, though. We see so many challenges that face kids out there. And we talked about cyberbullying earlier. That's not just all that you guys do. You Mask really addresses a whole a a a variety of issues that kids have to face. Absolutely. Our mission is to um, educate parents and children on issues such as drugs, internet safety, depression, eating disorders, peer-to-peer -peer relationships, and bullying and cyberbullying. Um, we just are trying to initiate the conversation between parents and children on these issues. And Michelle, tell me a little bit about how I know Kimberly came to you with the thought of, I want to start this organization so we can help parents. Um, why did you get involved? Obviously a need for it. Well, I have three children that are various ages that are getting affected by cyberbullying, eating disorders. You know, the list goes on and on. And we found that you need to educate yourself early. It's never too early to start. You can start talking to your kids about drugs as early as third grade to prepare them for things that are out there. So we together decided we can make this mission happen and educate parents and make a shift on what's going on out there. And a lot of parents probably hear third grade and drugs, that's way too early, but the statistics yeah. show it's really not. It's really not. But Pam, I know one of the big uh, ways you guys get your message across is through monthly meetings that you hold with parents. Mm -hmm. Some over 300 so parents involved now, you guys mm -hmm. have partnered with the Boys and Girls Club, really making way there to reach out into the community. Tell me about those meetings. Well, it's incredible. Like Kimberly said, we started last year. We held monthly meetings. Our meeting last Tuesday, we had 254 parents and wow. children there. With the Scottsdale Police Department came, they spoke about, with, uh, about internet safety, drug trends, and we started, we had so much feedback. And these monthly meetings generally are just for parents but we hold a couple a year for kids too. And it's incredible, the feedback we get, the, the dinner conversation that's fostered from all of this is exactly what we want to see happen. Who, who are you guys targeting? I mean, is it what age group are we talking about here? Well, we started in the Paradise Valley School District, and we're targeting elementary school and middle school kids. Okay. Um, we have our meetings right now up in North Scottsdale, but due to our partnership with the Boys and Girls Club, it's going to help navigate our mission throughout the valley. You guys can be everywhere now with that. There's awesome. no limits. <laughs> and I know in February, because this coming February, there's a big fundraiser going right. on. Can you tell us about that so folks can get involved? Sure. It's the Making the Mask Difference Luncheon that will be held at Greyhawk Golf Club in February 28th. And because we're about kids, we wanted to involve kids in the luncheon. So it's not just for parents to be there, but also for children and parents. And 100% of the proceeds will benefit Mask's mission. Awesome. Well, I hope we are letting people just give you guys a glimpse of what Mask can offer, because there's obviously so much. They have a website. It's azmask.org. We want you to log on, check it out, get involved, attend those monthly meetings, contact the ladies, and uh, make a difference in our community by getting involved with your own kids' lives. So, mm -hmm. ladies, thank you for what thank you're doing you. and continued success us. in the organization. Thank, thank you. you. All right. We'll have all the info if you missed any of it, of course, on azfamily.com. Just ahead, a world record attempt made at the State Fair.